From two Brazilian bikers who narrowly missed being flattened by a train, and a student pilot in the UK whose engine failed hundreds of feet in the air, to a man in southern Florida who almost took a four-story tumble off a parking garage, and a powerful earthquake in Indonesia that sent locals running for their lives. Here are 10 terrifying close calls caught on camera. May 12th of 2018 was a great day for a bike ride in Rio de Janeiro. Two friends met to make the long 21-mile journey from Volta Redonda to Porto Real. They planned on taking a new route that very few people had gone. They believed the route was safer since they didn't have to pass the President Dutra Highway. Partway through the journey, they realized why few people take this route. It led them to a train tunnel with narrow paths on either side. There was no other way over the rocks or across the river. Turning back was also out of the question. So they took a deep breath and rode into the tunnel. Then their worst fears came true. Once the train passed, the pair quickly went back into the tunnel to try and finish what they started. Surprisingly, the bike our cameraman dropped seems to have taken no damage at all. They may have been okay if they pressed themselves against the wall, but clearly they weren't willing to risk it. Our cameraman narrowly made it out of the tunnel. Even a one second delay would have ended his life. Imagine hearing that train horn getting louder and louder as you run for safety. The Bukovel Ski Resort is the largest of its kind in Eastern Europe. Located in the Ivano-Frankivsk Oblast, Ukraine, it features 17 chairlifts and 37 miles of trails. Skiers come from all over Europe to stay at one of seven high-profile hotels. The entire property can host about 12,000 people at once. April 13th of 2013 began as another day at the mountain. A group of skiers got on the lift en route to the summit. They had their cameras rolling when an ominous noise caught their attention. What happened next might be every skier's worst nightmare. Thankfully, the tree fell on the downhill side of the lift. Amazingly, it didn't cause any apparent damage. The lift kept going, and the cable ripped all the branches off the tree. That one chair did come dangerously close to our cameraman. According to reports, nobody got hurt on the other side. Hopefully, everyone on the lift got a free pass or some lunch vouchers. Mount Bizimianye is a 9,500-foot stratovolcano on the Kamchatka Peninsula in Russia. It's only 4,700 years old, making it a little baby volcano in the grand scheme of Earth's history. There have only been three periods of intense activity in the last 3,000 years. Most recently, an eruption comparable to Mount St. Helens happened in the 1950s. Then, in 2023, it blew again. On April 7th of 2023, a group of Russian scientists set out to study the young volcano. It had erupted intermittently since March, with lava flows and ash billowing into the air. The crater's edges looked ready to collapse, which should have been a warning sign. 
Maybe they should have listened to Mother Nature. Our cameraman, Piotr Krinkin, and his team were forced to take cover as ash rained down around them. They couldn't move from the location because of the heavy ash fall and the threat of new rock slides. Unfortunately, that meant rescue teams couldn't get out there either. Our scientists had to wait a full 24 hours before anyone showed up. According to the Global Volcanism Program, the ash plume stretched between 32,000 and 39,000 feet into the air. It turned the snow gray as it covered the ground. When the scientists finally returned to base, they were covered head to toe. The Jammu Srinagar National Highway is a 153 mile stretch of road between the city of Srinagar in the Kashmir Valley and the territorial capital of Jammu. East Asian weather has always been a pain point for these major roads. It's impossible to avoid the steep mountains, so landslides have a habit of disrupting traffic. On April 2nd of 2023, a particularly scary landslide did more than block traffic. Workers had recently finished the T5, a 2,900-foot tunnel through the mountain that bypasses a long stretch of highway. It opened to traffic on March 16th, but had to close a few weeks later. Imagine how fast those rocks must be traveling. That one guy is lucky he got out of the way in time. The Jammu Srinagar Highway is the only all weather road linking the Kashmir region to the rest of India. That means officials had to work quickly to clear the debris and ensure everyone's safety. Thankfully, nobody got hurt during the landslide. The rocks themselves didn't cause much damage. One army vehicle got hit as it passed through the tunnel, but we guess it's built to withstand such impacts. Kianjur is a small town in West Java, Indonesia. They're home to about 175,000 people who commute to the surrounding cities for work. Unfortunately, Indonesia's place on the Pacific Ring of Fire leaves them highly vulnerable to volcanic eruptions and earthquakes. In November of 2022, the latter rocked the entire country. On November 21st, a 5.6 magnitude earthquake struck near Kianjur. The epicenter was about seven miles underground but the impact was felt across the island. Multiple cameras, from CCTV to cell phones, captured the moment when the earthquake struck. One man outside an apartment building came inches away from a serious concussion, or worse. <laughs> Reports indicated that 62,000 housing units and 368 schools were damaged or destroyed. The earthquake displaced some 73,000 people while injuring over 7,000 others. Things got worse before they got better. More than 400 aftershocks were felt between November 22nd and December 9th. Some were as strong as 4.2 magnitude quakes. Those aftershocks caused many people to stay in tents far away from their homes. They were afraid the weakened structures could crumble at any minute. In the end, the 2022 event was the worst earthquake to hit Indonesia since the Sulawesi tremor in 2018. No matter where you live, it always has its pros and cons. Take Florida, for example. The water is warm, the beaches are great, and you can pop into Disney World at any time. But hurricanes can blow your home down, and alligators can ruin your fishing trip. One local almost learned the alligator lesson the hard way. 
On May 16th of 2019, a local who goes by BBQ Bass Bros on Instagram was fishing in the Florida Everglades. His perfect day got even better when he hooked a nice looking fish. Unfortunately, he wasn't the only one eyeing that catch. Look at him, just sitting there, waiting for our cameraman to come back toward the water. We assume he sees the alligator lurking, but we can't say for sure. Watch the top left side of the screen as he reaches down to grab the fish. You can see the alligator creeping up before lunging. Our fisherman is very lucky he pulled away in time. The American alligator has a bite force of 2,980 psi. That's fourth behind the Nile crocodile, saltwater crocodile, and great white shark. If you're ever fishing in the Florida Everglades, know that one of these guys could be lurking under the water. October 4th of 2013 was a perfect day for flying over Somerset County, England. John Merriman, a 53-year-old pilot in training, took to the skies in his two-seater microlight aircraft. He'd already gone up and down once, but he wanted to take another flight. John took off from the airport and climbed to 300 feet. Things were going fine at first, but then tragedy struck about 11 minutes into his flight. While traveling around 50 knots, his engine suddenly stopped. While John's 5,000-pound plane was kaput, he walked away without a bruise. He remembers thinking to himself, don't panic, remember your training. Thankfully, all that training came in handy. John had to dip the nose right before he crashed to avoid hitting some overhead power lines. Then he smacked into the ground at 50 miles per hour, narrowly avoiding an off-screen herd of cows. John only needed a few more hours of flight time to earn his full pilot's license. That's why he wanted to take advantage of the beautiful day. The crash didn't deter him either. He bought a new plane shortly after. Springville is a small Southern California town halfway between Fresno and Bakersfield. On June 1st of 2019, a powerful storm passed overhead. The wind blew hard enough to weaken some structures, including one local man's open concept garage. The day after the storm, Jay Kelly returned home in his white SUV. When he got out, he heard something strange coming from the roof. It was like an odd cracking sound followed by a meowing cat. Concerned for his pet, Jay went to investigate. Little did he know, that cat was about to save his life. Any cats up there? The 
the second Jay stepped out from under the garage, the cement roof came crashing down. His kids came running when they heard the crash. Thankfully, Dad and the cat were okay. Apparently, a solar company had installed the garage four years earlier. He thinks the storm must have weakened the structure, and the weight of the solar panels brought the whole thing down. Jay was especially thankful to the guardian angel on his shoulder. Everything had to go right for him not to be crushed that day. About 72 miles south of Orlando sits the city of Melbourne, Florida. Home to about 84,000 people, Melbourne is a college city with six universities within 50 square miles. It's also home to one avid biker who nearly became the next Florida man. Josh Spezzano was riding around an empty parking garage on January 27th of 2022. He had a GoPro attached to his helmet and thought shooting from the top floor would be cool. So he rode up and tried to stop next to the wall. Then he nearly took a one-way trip back to the bottom. We're in Melbourne, Florida. We're in Melbourne, Florida. Fucking beautiful dog. Josh accidentally whiskey throttled near the wall, which is when you pull the throttle in panic and send yourself flying backward. Usually the bike has more room. It kicks up and you fall off the back. But Josh had about three inches between him and the wall. So instead of flying back, he went forward. Luckily, he held on with one arm and pulled himself back over the wall. His quick reflexes saved him from a four-story fall, which would have led to serious injury or worse. Josh clearly needed a minute to sit before getting back on his bike. His brain was so rattled that he could barely choose which social media app to open. On November 8th of 2014, two friends in Lake County, Florida decided to scare their friends. Dave and his neighbor Carell are experts in their respective fields. Dave likes explosives and Carell likes paragliding. Together, they staged a close call to freak their guests out. Dave set up a barrel of Tannerite, which is a brand of binary explosive used in firearms. You can easily buy some in kit form. The plan was for Corel to fly in just as Dave hit the detonator. What resulted was a scary-looking incident if you weren't in on it. <laughs> hey, he's about to shoot the Tannerite. He's alone. From Dave's perspective, the barrel narrowly misses Carell as he flies past. However, the video from Carell's point of view shows the barrel flying a few hundred feet into the air and totally missing him. Their plan worked like a charm. They got a good laugh while their friends got a good scare. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. As always, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time.